There's a famous British politician who died some years ago who used to say, if you want things to change, you need to give people hope and you need to get them angry. Yeah. And you need both of those things. And I think at the moment we've got a lot of anger and not so much hope. Um, and I think what's exciting about the project that I'm working on at the moment is that we have been able to plan out, based on natural principles, what a truly circular, sustainable fashion industry could look like and a pathway to it. Um, and one of our insights is that uh, we, all of our man-made materials will inevitably leak. There is a fundamental law of physics that says we cannot prevent that. And if we try and keep our technical materials isolated, we will fail. They're going out into the environment. And so when you accept that reality, you also have to accept that synthetic materials like polyester are not the solution for the fashion industry. Recycled plastic, recycled polyester is not a solution. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, that's the industry's great best hope. And so you've got anger and recycled plastic is the best current solution. And so a lot of industries are saying, right, this is where we need to put our funding. Um, and we are saying, no, we need to learn from nature. We already have the resources we need to supply all the world's fashion from bio-based materials. We do not need polyester. Um, and we are showing that in natural cycles, build up and manufacture is half the cycle, but just as important and necessary for the full cycle is decomposition. A very so important part of the work that I'm doing now is bringing decomposition into the conversation. We have discovered that there are decomposition technologies that already exist that will be able to handle with handle the bio-based materials of the future, but can also take things like polyester and turn them into biocompatible, non-toxic materials that are useful for other manufacturing industries. And so we've got this wonderful story where we have a guiding star new system and we have a, a pathway that we can already start on today to transition us to that new system. And we're finding that industry partners are very, very keen to talk to us because this is the hope, to go with the anger. And if we can get that message out there and get those proof points, publish the proof points that show that what we're saying can happen, then I think we really can yeah. make systems level, industry level, global industry level changes.